Welcome to Hoosier Sports Night. I'm Andy Tahalski. I'm Sean Mikus. The IU football team is good. I'm as shocked as you are. This is Hoosier Sports Night. Welcome to Hoosier Sports Night. Let's start the show with some good news with some football. The Hoosiers would be looking to ride the momentum of last week's win at Iowa as their quest to win six games and become bowl eligible becomes increasingly possible. This weekend they were back at Memorial Stadium hosting the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Let's go right to the highlight. Halloween is weeks away, so this man just clearly lost a bet of some sort. Now just two minutes into this one, Lewis launches this thing like it's a Tecmo Super Bowl play. It is a 51-yard strike to Hardy, putting IU at the seven-yard line already. And that worked so well. Let's do it just one more time. Each catch for this man more beautiful than the last. Lewis to Hardy, seven to nothing, good guys. You cannot stop them. You can only hope to contain them. Mini with the ball now as they do their best. Lewis and Hardy impression with this 42-yard bomb from Adam Weber to Eric Decker. He is second in the Big Ten in reception so far this year, and that's for a reason. Weber now handing it off. No wait a second. The cameramen lose him. It's magic. He keeps it himself, confusing cameramen and the defense for the touchdown. Good one, guys. You confused everyone on the field. I use running backs. Just can't stay healthy this year. So here's third stringer Brian Payton making tracks. He is gone for a 48-yard sprint all the way to the promised land. But Minnesota would respond right here to tie the score as Dwayne Bennett launches himself through the D-line and the score is now 14 apiece. Thankfully, Brian Payton was playing more like sweetness. That's Walter Payton this day with another TD run, putting the Hoosiers up 27 to 14. And the little guy is fired up. So are the Hoosiers. So are the Hoosier faithful. Watch this amazing play. Geno Johnson tips this pass, and somehow, someway, the magic bullet lands in the hands of Leslie Majors for an incredible interception. That's SportsCenter Top 10 material. Let's put this thing away, Mr. Payton. All that man does is score touchdowns. That one would round out the scoring as IU wins at home 40 to 20. And don't look now, but the Hoosiers are ranked 29 in all the land at five and one. Rejoice, Hoosiers, for we have a football team. The heat didn't seem to be a problem for the Hoosiers as they played host to the Minnesota Golden Gophers, defeating the Gophers 40 to 20, putting them five and one on the season and two and one in the Big Ten. Coach Lynch thought they played a solid game throughout. I really, I thought our kids really played hard and in some tough conditions. I mean, that was uh, the heat down in that stadium it really builds up. And uh, some of you have been around here a lot know how hot it can get down there. So really, both teams, I thought, put on you know, great effort. There was an even balance between rushing and passing yards for the Hoosiers as they dealt with two of their running backs, Josiah Sears and Marcus Thigpen, on the injured list. Brian Payton stepped in to fill the space with 13 carries for 90 yards and three touchdowns. Although the ground game was working, the air attacks have been strong all year as Lewis passed to Hardy for another touchdown, making that a touchdown for every game of the season so far. We have plenty of capable running backs. We've all, we always have. Um, uh, the offensive line has come along leaps and bounds. Uh, we have full confidence in them. And, um, you know, the, we have great receivers. They have to respect them, and that helps up open the running game. And it, it, continue to will, it, it will continue to every week. But coming in, we wasn't sure how they were going to um play me whether I was going to have a spy or whether they were trying to blitz us and make me get rid of the ball. So uh, we just kept taking what they was going to give us. Uh, originally, it looked like we were going to have to air the ball out. And uh, they, soon after that, they spread out and safeties were kind of high. So we, we decided to run the ball. The team motto still stands to play one game at a time. 
It is vital that the Hoosiers focus on the Michigan State game next week and not get caught up in the hype of playing 13. If it's possible, we want to go 11-1. and one. That's our goal, and we got to come in each and every week. That's what I mean by taking one game at a time. One went away from a bowl game, so a little anxious. Uh, kind of in the same situation last year with a little bit more games to play. So uh, don't get too cocky, and uh, nothing's guaranteed to us six wins. So. We're on our way to our goal, but we got to take it one game at a time. There is no what if. We take one game at a time, and we know that we're cap what we're capable of, and we can beat anybody on the schedule. Continue to keep taking everything one step at a time. You know, the wins that add up for us. From Memorial Stadium, I'm Alexis Hosier, Hoosier Sports Night. Brian Payton had a huge day for the Hoosiers, rushing for three touchdowns and setting career highs with 13 carries and 90 yards. The duo of Kellen Lewis and James Hardy hooked up for a score early in the first quarter to give the Hoosiers a 7-0 lead they would never relinquish in this one. Austin Starr also tied an Indiana record with four field goals in the game.